Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. Mayeti Hala sends strong message to youth of Oyo State over recent violence in Oyo State. The issue of banditry kidnapping has become one of the major problems this country is currently facing. This is, this is one of the reasons why Oyo State has been in the news a lot lately. The people of Ibarapa in Oyo State have decided that enough is enough after one Adeni Yadeyemo, also known as Sunday Wahoo, ordered that all the headsmen in the community should vacate. After the ultimatum he gave them expired, yesterday the activist decided to visit the community to address the people despite warnings by the Oyo State Governor that the peace and order in the state should not be jeopardized by anyone or group of individuals except is there really peace in the whole state. After Igbaho's visit, reports coming in from the communities that the home of Seriki of Fulani of Oyo State Al-Haji Saliu Abdekadai was set on fire by some Yoruba youth after him, his wife, and his children were driven out of their home. Reacting to this, the Mayeti Hala Katu Breed Association, through their national secretary, Rabbi his man in an interview with Sahara reporters earlier today had this to say. The issue of this banditry and kidnapping is everywhere in the country. Didn't you see what is happening in Kaduna State, Zafara State and Kastina State? We believe the security forces are doing their best in trying to stop this. What is taking place in Oyo is condemnable. We always say that the law should take its course. And this is what should be allowed for security personnel to handle appropriately. It is hard to argue with the words coming from Baba Yusman. The youth of your state should really come and let the security operatives handle this matter so that the violence in the bureau in the state will not escalate into a national war. Reacting to this on social media, there were mixed reactions from hungry youths. And many hungry youths were saying that he is right because criminality has no tribe, religions, and ethics. They said the hypocrisy of this naughtiness is very dangerous. They had failed to address the issues with etmen and farmers' crisis at the very start before it turns to this terror. But here, they are quoting constitution. They should rather channel their energies into modern day ranch and abolish the ascent to roaming. There is no word in all he said. He referred to Kaduna Zafara State as case study, and the security are trying their best to settle the case. If what is happening in Kaduna should happen in any southwest state, Nigeria is gone. And they said this man is high on weed. Banditry is not a national problem, but full and a problem and caused by them. Exactly. This issue of banditry we are talking about, it is, the, it is, it is full and a problem and it needs to be settled. Now, is the, you know, they were saying that uh, oh, yes, it's going to lead to war. I don't think there is any war in any place. They are the ones that they are supposed to call their people to hold that. And they should caution them. With these killings, with these kidnappings that they are into. So enough, enough of threatening, enough of all these threatenings all over the place. Because the fact is that the Mayeti Hala people are one of the groups destroying Nigeria. They are one of the number one group that are causing problems in Nigeria. And it's just so unfortunate that our leaders is not even t talking about it. And our leader is not even concerned. He doesn't even care about what is going on in his own country. Very, very shameful. Very, very shameful. May God help us. Nigeria is, is something else. Because you can imagine what these people are saying. After killing innocent people. After, uh, after kidnapping them. Raping the innocent women. And I'll come in and I'll say that. Uh, warning the Yoruba people that they, should, they need to be careful to avoid 
national war. If this issue is not about national war, they should caution themselves, they should put themselves in order. You know, people said that what is their own concern? What, why is it talking about Kadena? That the issue now is it, 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 that they are the people living in the forest. And then they are, your governor says that they should vacate the forest. And I don't think it's, 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 it's hard enough to do. Let's hear what Nigerians are saying again. They said, are you afraid of war? The people you victimize are desperate. And not afraid if war, instead of calling on tall Fulani kinsmen to order to stop killings, kidnapping, and banditry. You keep telling other Nigerians to keep calm and obey government orders. You asked, you asked one life like us, so no fear for Yorubas. If you need war, we shall fight you. Leave our forest, go to your Sambisa forest. To establish grazing zone. Wow. So guys, what is your home take about this? What is your home take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very, very big thank you to you. For subscribing, we'll say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button. So that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you for always being there. Stay safe. Have a lovely day. Bye.